Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose xn and yn are convergent sequences of real numbers, where xn is less than or equal to yn for all positive integers n. Then, the limit of xn is less than or equal to the limit of yn. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. Suppose xn is a convergent sequence of real numbers, where xn is greater than or equal to 0 for all positive integers n. Then the limit of xn is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start out the proof, let's give ourselves two convergent sequences of real numbers, xn and yn, where xn is less than or equal to yn for all positive integers n. Our whole goal from here is to show that the limit of xn is less than or equal to the limit of yn. Now to start, since xn is less than or equal to yn for all positive integers n, this implies that yn minus xn is greater than or equal to 0 for all positive integers n. Now, since yn and xn are both convergent sequences, this tells us that the difference of yn minus xn is also a conversion sequence. And the limit of yn minus xn is equal to the limit of yn minus the limit of xn. Now, let's apply lemma 1. Right, we'll take xn to be the sequence yn minus xn. So applying lemma 1, we know that yn minus xn is a convergent sequence. That's what we said right here. We also know that yn minus xn is greater than or equal to 0 for all positive integers n. That's what we said right here. So by lemma 1, we have that the limit of yn minus xn is greater than or equal to 0. But the limit of yn minus xn is equal to the limit of yn minus the limit of xn. So really, the limit of yn minus the limit of xn is greater than or equal to 0. And then, adding the limit of xn to the other side, we get that the limit of xn is less than or equal to the limit of yn. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.